like a glove? Opie dopey, you ready? Are you ready, buddy? We're gonna go on a camping trip. Here we go. Your sister's already buckled in under the seat. Your turn. Okay. Yep. Hey, everybody. Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. We'll be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description. Let's get on the road and take a break. Heck yeah, guys. So this will probably be the last time that that trailer will only have Black Betty in it. I need to take a break, so I found a harvest host that is really close to uh, the shop here, actually. Um, it's a sanctuary for Mustangs. Not the V8 kind, the uh, uh, the friendly fuzzy kind, you know. So I'm gonna go camping for a night here, check this place out and uh, take a little break from packing because I've been staying up really late packing and organizing everything. And um, we're, we're right on schedule. So everything's really fine with getting everything loaded. It's just, uh, gonna go take a break so uh thanks for joining me guys all right we're gonna turn down this dirt road here of as you can see nothing but cornrows everywhere it's that time of year they'll be cutting these down and turning them into a maze maybe maybe I, I don't know look at this weather guys you just never know what you're gonna get out of illinois boy i had a, a rough summer here in the midwest last summer with the rain and now it's it's 80 degrees today here in october <laughs> I'll take it, man. Keep it up. I'm loving the sunshine. Tara, who's your friend out there? Mr. Donkey. You looking at the donkey? Huh, Tara, what do you think? You want one? Do we need to get a couple donkeys? A couple little wild burrows? Yeah, he's crazy, huh? You want to talk to him? What should we name him? We'll name him Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> My two fuzzy butts are fascinated by all the animals out there. Yep, Check. we are here, guys. This is uh, just outside of Edwardsville, Illinois. This is the legendary Mustang Sanctuary. And there's a bunch of wild rescued Mustangs here. What's going on, guys? Oh, do I get to pet the horsies? Yeah, pet the sweet horsies. They have some uh, markings on them. I guess the government puts that identifies like how old they are and what region they're from. But these are all wild Mustangs. Wow, they're so pretty. You guys are such cool creatures. You guys friendly? Yeah, I might have to get me some Mustangs. Are you a one horsepower Mustang? Are, are you a one horsepower Mustang <laughs> My, you're not amused by my jokes, are you? No. This one, you're kind of cranky. Is it, is it past lunchtime? I, I didn't, I didn't bring any tater tots. Sorry. Sorry about that. And that white one out there. So a lot of, a lot of different stories of how they all came to, came to be here. But they do, um, they break them in and then they adopt them out. And uh, they take care of them here. So kind of a unique harvest host, really. I mean, as you can see, I'm literally gonna be camping overnight right within the actual farm. Uh, they have volunteers that come and take care of the animals. That old tractor. Ooh hee. And uh, it's daytime now, so they got most of the pens open. Uh, earlier I was here and they had the donkeys right here, but uh, they're probably out playing somewhere. All right, I found the donkeys. They're out here by the fence line. Look, it's donkey. Donkey. Or are you a burrow? Do you prefer donkey or burrow? I think they make great pets on the farm too. You know, they help clear some of the grass so you don't need a lawnmower. I think I counted uh, four donkeys here on the farm. But you know, they just eat hay. Hi, can I pet you? 
Oh, are you eating? Sorry. Yeah, they, they eat hay and maybe a little bit of grain from time to time. Pretty, pretty easy to manage. Uh, you just gotta watch out for donkey poop. That's right. I'm just gonna be kind of taking notes as I'm here too. I love some of the artwork. I don't think that's a functional well for water. But uh, yeah, just kind of taking notes just in case I end up uh, having my own little farm somewhere. There's some more horsies over there. Hi right, guys. I guarantee you I will have some egg laying hens. I will have chickens and at least, at least one rooster. So we got some chickens hanging around here. Look at this black fuzzy butt. Yeah, look at that fuzzy butt right there. <laughs> Where's all your friends? They probably don't like me sticking a camera in their face, but okay. There's another one over there. They just get to roam free all day. Oh, here's some more over here. This is where they like to take their uh, dust baths. They'll burrow inside the dust and get all dirty and somehow that makes them cleaner. I don't know. Wow, they're beautiful. Hey, dude. Okay. And they got a, a massive field out here. There's a fence over there. A lot of just free range horses out there getting used to each other, socializing. Uh, I don't know if these are acorns or what exactly they are, but they're falling from this tree over there. That's why they wanted me to park between the trees. Every once in a while you'll hear a, a plop on the ground like that falling from the tree. This is their uh, chicken coop, and this is the uh, sole mother right now here on the farm. She's got four babies. There's one of her babies right there. So this is their uh, coop in there, and they said that we can go in there. I just want to make sure mom's not going to be angry if I open this. So we'll be quiet and careful here. Oh, So the babies go in here at night, inside this little cage area. And, you know, they, they may produce some eggs here maybe in like a year. It might take a full season, right mom? Yeah, you're taking care of your babies. So the, so the babies get locked in here and then the other chickens come in. Oh, look, 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 look. Got some eggs in there. It's time to collect. So, oh, there's some. There's four more right there. Yeah, how cool. How cool would this be to wake up every morning, come in. I don't think I'm allowed to touch them. I don't, but there's, yeah. You pick out your eggs. Looks like that's it for today. Oh, hi guys. No, you're not ready. I like the white one. That's a really cool chick. Hey mom. Hey chicks. Yeah. And you know, this is Illinois. Uh, it, the winters here are, are, are pretty cold. They get uh, snow. It gets cold here. So um, you got to find a way to heat, heat the water so that it doesn't freeze on them. Um, the, the bedding in there, they don't change in the winter because I guess as the chickens use the bedding in there, you just kind of add to it and it helps to insulate it in there. There's also no drafts inside the chicken coop here. So uh, here at this farm, they actually get eggs year round. Uh, they probably probably slow down a little bit in the winter, but <laughs> the kitties are just glued to these chickens. They don't know what to think. <laughs> Every once in a while, one of the roosters will crow and really freak out Opie. Tara doesn't mind the rooster. <laughs> Opie, that's not your dad. I know he has the same exact coloring as you, but believe me, that's not your dad. I'm your real dad, Opie, okay? That's a golden retriever, I think. Part golden retriever, but that's not your dad, okay? Making friends? It's good for you. It's good to socialize. Go nose to nose and go kisses. Yeah, get lots of puppy kisses. Okay. You scared? <laughs> You're still doing good. Your tail's a little bit frazzled, though. Yeah. All right, you make some friends. <laughs> yeah. Look, Opie, I got the feathers for you. Those are real feathers. Do you want them? Y you, you need one or two? Which one do you want? You want the black one or you want the white one? You want to choose? Why are you going to whack it? It's not alive. It's not, a, it's, look, it doesn't do anything. Opie, are you afraid of it? I think he's afraid of the feathers. Tara, do you want a feather? Do you want a feather? What do you smell? Is that a weird smell? Oh, you wanted that one, okay. See, 
See, Tara wanted it, but you don't want it. No, you can't whack it. You have to eat it. Here, eat it. No, you don't need to box it. It's not Mike Tyson. Chill. Chill, dude. It's a toy. See? It's a toy that you can play with. You can get it. Get it. There you go. It's gonna get you. Oh, oh, oh got me! Daddy got me! Oh, my God! Daddy got me! Oh, man! <laughs> oh, you funny boy. It's okay if you don't want it. Tara wants it. Tara will take yours if you don't want it. She wubs them. Jax used to go crazy for real feathers. Here, I'll put it right here. Yeah. It, he really is afraid of it. I don't get it. <laughs> Did you have a bad kitten experience that I don't know about with chickens? Uh-oh. It's moving now. Now you're really going to be afraid of it. I'm going to put Q in ready. Watch this. Watch. <laughs> you're too easy, man. Oh, look at how frazzled his tail is. I love you, buddy. <laughs> I just messed with you because I love you. <laughs> well, sounds like dinner sure shut you guys up, huh? They were neighing like crazy, and now they're just going to town here. They mixed up some uh, special nutrients and stuff in the food and added water, and... Uh, they're enjoying it. Everybody over there is eating too, I think. And um, they're getting ready to let the babies back in that have been out there. They're gonna eat too here in a minute. Oh, she just let the babies out. Look at them, look how tiny them is. This is the herder, gotta keep him in line. Yep, doing a good job there. <laughs> look at them go. Of course they know it's dinner time too. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now is it dinner time? No, you're in the wrong tent. Yeah, is it dinner time? What you got in there? Num nums. Yeah. <laughs> Another baby over there. Oh, look at this baby. Hey, trying to pet you. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, then it's yard time for these guys. Enjoy your time out in recess, guys. Wow, so cool. Okay, donkey, you can go too. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. Don't fool yourself. There is a lot of work to be done, you know, to be able to enjoy. They've got 31 horses right now, plus the chickens, plus the four donkeys that I know of. A uh, lot of poop to scoop. <laughs> I didn't show you, but they had uh, four volunteers here earlier helping out with the farm. Just people that love horses and farm life and want to put in some extra time because it's a, don't quote me, but I believe it's a not-for-profit or organization. I believe so. It's pretty cool. I'm going to go make some dinner and hang out with the kitty kitties myself. <laughs> Maybe pester Opie a little more too. And then up here on top of the little cab over, see the kitty right there? That's Poe up there on the top of that truck camper looking down at us. Hi Poe. We see you. You you keep you keep up with the, the mice hunting, okay? Alright, kitty. There's another fuzzy butt there, making sure that mice don't get into the food buckets. Good kitty. Yeah. What about us, Dad? What what about us? We're we're your actual kitties. Yeah, I know. It's dinner time. Let's do it. Alright, one for Tara, cause she's the queen. One for Opie, cause he's the king. And I'll get you guys some new waters too. You want filtered, right? Okay. Filtered for you. Opie wants filtered? Alright. Here you go, Opie. Filtered for Opie. Yep. Well, it's nighttime here at the farm. I've got all my green lights on, even got the trailer lit up for uh Black bit. I, I never actually brought the bike out, but that's okay. I just uh, actually uh, Sean and Jill from Modified Auto stopped by, and we went back out to see the horses together out there. But it's nice out here on the farm. This is one of the absolute coolest, at least top five harvest hosts that I've ever stayed at, and it is so different than going into a church or an attraction or a museum or a brewery or something like that. It's it's farm life, and it's just a lot more mellow and 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 low key and relaxing with lots of puppies everywhere. <laughs> he's he's on duty in case there's a predator or something, he'll, he'll bark and let everybody know. But 
yeah, really, really like this place. Uh, I'm going to go and close this video out, guys, get a good night's sleep. i uh, got to watch the uh, Mariners playoff game tonight, so uh, I'm going to watch it on, on a little bit of a delay. But, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys here when we get back on the road uh, from the farm. I will leave you with one more clip of Opie and the feather. <laughs> we'll see you soon, guys. Good night. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>